Hi everyone, for today's lesson, we are going to look into the technique of shadows. So you will need to prepare two pieces of different paper, two pieces of papers, and also um, a glue and a scissors and also your coloring media. I'm going to use my color pencil today. Right, so as for the background, um, you can use a different color paper or you can use the same white paper if you want to and other than that you can also decorate the frame of the paper later if you wish to do that and then the second paper is going to be used um, to draw your self-portrait okay um, try to create an interesting self-portrait of yourself a full body self-portrait and after that you can color it first and then after that you can cut it off and then i'm going to show you the next step after that how are we going to create shadows by using the self-portrait you have created just now okay try to be creative with your self-portrait you can try to draw yourself wearing an interesting suit interesting costume or just a normal costume should be fine as well or you want to make yourself looking like um, a princess or a king holding holding a magic wand or you want to draw yourself to look like um, a witch wearing a witch hat and a witch robe or you want to draw yourself looking like a king um, or um, I can allow you to draw different characters as well um, it can be a character from your favorite movie favorite um, cartoons or stories that which you have read so far okay let's start with our self-portrait first I am going to use one of those the two papers just now to draw a self-portrait of myself wearing um, a t-shirt and also maybe a long skirt and holding a magic wand something like that or maybe um, i have a tiara on top of my head as well Now that I'm done with my cutting, so here is my self-portrait just now. Yeah. If I put it here, it should look like this. Okay. Now take the other piece of papers which you have prepared previously. Okay. And then you arrange your um the cutting on top of the paper. You can put it at this side. If you want to create a, another piece of um, self-portrait cutting, you can put it this side. You can even put it in the middle or wherever you want it to be. If you don't want it to look too empty, maybe you can create a different character uh, or any other object, object or such as um, trees or even animals also if you want to. Okay, so... Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is we want to make it look a little bit 3D um, last time I think we have tried this last time um, I will teach you how to make a, a paper spring okay so you use the leftover papers you have earlier and you cut two of the same strip okay same size strip and same length so you should uh, have something like this okay now we are trying to create our own paper spring because we want to make this um, shadow to look um, 3d later on like it's popping up so that we can see where the shadows are later okay so your next um, thing to do is to try to attach these two the end of these two strips together okay get 
secure the end by using your glue you should have something like this okay now our next activity is to create this the paper spring so you just fold this this side first fold it to the um, upward and then fold the one on the on the right side to the left and the one on top just now try to make them um, symmetrical the size symmetrical okay fold it and then the next one again Um, it, this one it depends on how how long you do you want the paper string to be it's paper spring to be if you do not want it to be too long if you do think this should be enough then you can st um, stop here just cut this one off okay cut this off and then you stick the end onto each other so that it does not come out later okay so that's your paper spring okay now i'm going to create another paper spring and then after that i will show you the next step okay now i have two of the same length paper spring i'm going to put them stick them at the back of my character one maybe one at the bottom and then another one maybe here make sure it can ho um, hold the weight and also the size of your character later i'm going to stick one over here another one here at the neck at the chest then I'm going to apply glue also at the other end and try to stick this one in the middle. Okay. Press on it and let it dry and attach together first. Then you can see that you have um, a 3D portrait over here. Okay. So now your next activity is for you to decorate the whole frame. You can use um, your own drawing or you can use different color papers. That is up to you, okay? Okay, so now this is the portrait. Try to see if you can locate the shadow by putting a source of light. Um, anyway around your portrait okay so let's say I'm putting the source of light right on top of my my portrait I can see the shadow is um, at the back of the portrait and if I'm putting it a little bit on my right side I can see the shadow um, it's showing my my wen, my magic wen, and also my crown. Now I'm trying to put it on the other side. Okay. There you go. So it should look like this. Okay. Alright, you can start now. Have fun.